everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today on Tutu Tuesday, we're making tutu socks. For this tutorial, you're going to need a pair of socks. I think these are called bobby socks and they fold down like this. This would be ideal. I suppose you could use other types of socks like ankle socks and stuff, but for this tutorial, this is what we're using. And you're going to need some ribbon and some tool. Now I'm making these for my, my five-year-old's um, school uniform. Ideally, I would have used navy, but I don't have any navy tool on the roll right now. And I have no idea where my navy ribbon is. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna go with blue and blue and white socks and we're going to make this tutorial happen anyway i also do not have any blue thread <laughs> i don't have any blue thread so we're using black thread to get this project done because school starts in two days and she's going to school regardless you're going to start you don't have to use tool on the roll for this project you can cut it off the bolts and i do have some navy tool on the bolts um but i don't really like to cut tool on the bolt like that but I mean whatever works so this is six inch tool on the roll and I find this easier to work with when you're making tutu socks so I'm gonna roll three yards for each sock and now what we're going to uh -oh. and now we are going to sew just like we're making a ribbon trim tutu so if you haven't seen that video I have a tutorial for ribbon trim tutu i'll leave a link in the description box below but we're just going to sew right along this end here depending on how many yards you use that's how roughly your sock will be this will be three yards for this sock and you will see how this comes out so you'll notice that when i make ribbon trim tutus i tend to sew straight down the middle but for socks i like to sew closer to the edge and that's especially important today since I'm using the wrong color thread. So it'll just look better closer to up here. This um, is not matching, but it's all going to work together for the good. So I'm just going to go with it. So next, just like with your ribbon trim tutu, you're going to go in and do a, um, what is that called? A basting stitch you're gonna go in and do a basting stitch or a really loose stitch wide stitch whatever you want to call it you're just gonna draw it up because essentially you're making a tiny tutu so the next step is to just scrunch pull the thread just like a ribbon trim tutu kind of this is an actual this part's not like a ribbon trim tutu unless you are doing an overall tutu then it's the same. So this is kind of like the overall tutu. Okay, so now what we have is this mini tutu. This is the back side. This is the front side. And we're going to get our sock. And this tutorial is really almost done because it's this easy. So you're going to flip up your sock and you are going to need to put So this side under here. And to do this, we're gonna use a zigzag stitch. Another tip is that when I'm at this point, I always use, I always sew with the same color thread as the sock. So if it's a pink sock, then I use pink thread for the top thread and the bottom thread. And then you're gonna zigzag stitch it right on here and we fold it right side out. It'll be underneath like that. The key is to stretch the sock as you are sewing with the zigzag stitch because if you don't, you're not going to be able to open that sock. If you don't use a zigzag stitch and if you don't stretch, mm -mm, it's going to be all bad. Next level. 